I thought you might like to know I've got word on your mother. Oh? She's alive and well and promoted to Rear Admiral. She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another Shepard around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, Mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I... I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. <clears throat> That was for leaving, dumbass. I turned myself in to the Alliance, Jack. Yeah? And how'd that work out for you? Did they listen? Didn't think so. You could have stayed. Instead, you decided to go play soldier. Sounds like you're doing that yourself these days. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching stuff. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Save it for shore leave, big guy. That's not what I meant. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. So, about you and me. <laughs> hey, I get it. You've only got one real love in your life, the Reapers. They're the only thing keeping you awake at night. Which is too bad. Because I'm a much better lay. I'm sorry I left. Hell yeah, you should be. Maybe you can apologize some more when this is over. I'm glad we got the chance to talk. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you've got a way out of here, my guys will be ready to move. Hell if I know, Prangley. I was gonna burn off the N7 I got on my ass, but maybe I'll hang on to it for a while. Soldier, buy a girl a drink? Didn't expect to find you reading. Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. You just want to peel me out of an Alliance uniform, don't you? Perv. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which... Thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. That's what pisses me off. 
We're doing good work. If we were useless, I could drop this shit and come with you. But we're not. And they need me. So, if we gotta call it quits, I get it. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Mistakes. All right, Shepard. No strings. But if we get out of this alive... Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Who's here? <sighs> that was nice. It's good to just relax every once in a while. Relax? Are you even hungover? Nope. You want me to find some vodka and we can go again? Let's see if anyone else is up. Break time's over, huh? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Knock that shit off. You're gonna blow the Reapers to hell. And then you're coming back and taking me out dancing. You know? For all the shit we've been through, We've had a damn good ride. <laughs> the best. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet, for now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, am I still part of your plan? It's been so long I wasn't sure where we stood. Miranda, things are never going to be easy for us. But I'll always want you in my life. No second thoughts? This is your chance to back out. No. It was hard to be away from you. Surprised myself how attached I got. I'm not good at attached. Just stay close from now on, alright? <laughs> I wish I could. I really do. But there's something I need to deal with. I told you, it's crazy. It's not crazy. Well, maybe a little crazy. Shepard. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Miranda, we're both under so much pressure to be perfect. We never give ourselves a break. We can't give ourselves a break. There's too much at stake. 
Hey. Yes? Come here. Oh? Still impatient, Commander? Still trying to maintain control, Miss Lawson? Trying. But failing. Good. I'm almost out of moves. I'm not. I can't believe it's you. We caught a break. I'm just glad we got here in time. As am I. Never saw myself as a damsel in distress. You broke into a fortified Cerberus lab while it was being attacked by Reapers. I think you did okay. I needed to find Ariana. Nothing was going to stop me. You found her. And I found you. That's all that matters. Did you worry? Of course I worried. It was nothing I couldn't handle. I know. At least Oriana is safe. Yes. I just wish she didn't have to see all this. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. Shepard. Promise me you'll be careful. I can't do that, Miranda. <laughs> I know. Bastard. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll need to convince me. Hmm. A compelling argument. This is a crazy life, isn't it? Yes, it is, Shepard. Yes, it is. Miranda? You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... uh... <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this.
truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Oh, I've got some ideas. Miranda, you're here, you're beautiful, and I have you to myself. So tonight, I'm just gonna be a regular guy taking his best girl out on the town. No space heroes or super spies? Nope. Just bright lights, a few games, and some very foolish choices. Agreed? <laughs> Agreed. I'm gonna need more wine. Get this woman more wine. You're pretty sexy when you're pushy. What now? Let's spin the wheel, see what happens. The odds are against us, you know. Maybe. But I've got a good feeling about this. Hey. Wow, look who's here. How do you feel? Hmm. Great. Damn, you're beautiful. Just happy. Come on. Let's see if anyone else is up. Back to the fight? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Oh, come on now. I know you. You'll find a way to win. And when you do, I'll be waiting for you. I won't say it's been easy, but we've had a good run. <laughs> the best. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. I'd be worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. Shepard? Odina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay, get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. 
We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to... I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but... There she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttle zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? career military man yeah yeah he would have invited you over cooked you something on the grill and talked your ear off that sounds great Ash but right now I can't focus on anything but you well now those big powerful citadel arms giving you ideas commander maybe then maybe I have something to ask you what well You've seen me at my worst. Totally embarrassing. You were there for me when my baby sister was suffering. I've... held a gun in you, Shepard. I'm just saying... we've been through a lot. I have to know. Are we... going somewhere? I want more, Ash. I can't see myself with anyone else. That's good. I'd hate to have to punch out whichever table-dancing tart is throwing herself at you this time. Such a romantic. You love it. Now get over here.
Looking good, Commander. Lean and mean. Business now. Pleasure later. Mmm. Sir? Yes, sir. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a Reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. for a Lieutenant Williams. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the pretender? Whatever you say, Williams. Line them up. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful Superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry as pretender, next. What's this? The great and powerful Commander Shepard can't keep up? I didn't want to destroy your fragile ego, Williams. Sometimes you just gotta let the underdog have its day. <laughs> Cut the crap, Commander. You know, Williams, I can think of a few other ways to test your endurance. My shepherd, what kind of girl do you think I am? Hey, my friend doesn't like alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah. for a Lieutenant Williams. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the Pretender? Pretender, huh? Which one of us is still wearing training wheels? Laugh it up, Commander. It's all downhill from here. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful Superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry as pretender, next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. You did not just say that. I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. any poems about crying like a little girl? Cheap shot. You know, I expected better from you. I'm saving my best moves for later. Best moves? At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. I'm on a roll. Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Uh, you may have to. You taking charge of the situation, Lieutenant? Somebody has to. Sir. Hey. My friend doesn't like alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah.
Hey, you. Hey, yourself, pretty lady. Good morning. I hope you don't have too many new bruises. <laughs> Just enough to get my attention. Let's see if anyone else is up. Everything's ready, Shepard. What about you? Are you ready? Let's get it done and go home. We're not getting off that easy, Ash. <laughs> no. We looking at a rough ride? Ash, I get what you're trying to do. Hey, no brushing me off. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not brushing you off. I'm just thinking about everyone we've lost fighting this war. I understand. And do I ever. You know, I was lost without you, Shepard. When I thought you were dead, it broke my heart. And then you found your way back. It was a miracle. Screw the science. It was a damn miracle, Shepard. I couldn't do this without you, Ashley. When I first saw you back on Eden Prime, I didn't know my life would change. Maybe I was scared to admit that I'd found something I'd been looking for my whole life. You don't need to say anything, Shepard. No, I do. I love you. I doubted you once, Shepard. And I lost you. That's not happening again. Just shut up and kiss me. Time to get back out there, huh? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No. No, you'll find a way to beat the odds. And when you do, hero man, I'll be waiting. I wouldn't have missed any of it for the world. Damn good ride. <laughs> the best. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. Hey. You're not alone. This was supposed to be my father's fight, but he left me with all of this. If they die because of me, if... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? 
When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. You've given up so much, stood for too long without allies. I didn't want you to do this alone. So, if you're ever lonely, just let me know. Tally, nothing between us has changed. Unless you wanted to. Kila, Shepard. I'm not going to beg, but I didn't come up here just to see the fish. No. You came up here because I asked you to. I want you here. With me. Okay. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? Planetary defenses are under Quarian control, and we're establishing facilities for food production. Tally. Nothing stands between us now. Whatever the galaxy throws at us, I'll be at your side. By the way, I left something for you up in your cabin. Go have a look. You're looking good. Feels a little light without body armor, but it's soft to touch. Good to know. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that, did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But Shalai, we can never be together. I have my duty, and you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You watch this a lot? With the lovers from two different worlds? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Oh, we can activate sing-along mode! Let the moon shine I had no idea you were so into this. This vid FTL jumped me into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross-species romance? I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see 
who I truly am. I already have. Works for me. Who's here? How do you feel? Could be worse. I could be waking up alone. Not on my watch. Good. Come on. Let's see if anyone else is up. It's going to take a few more hours for the fleet to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with anything good? I thought maybe you could use some company tonight. Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want. Okay. My system has adapted. No more negative reaction to you anymore. That's how we survive. Is it how we survive? Adapting? To a cold or interspecies contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. We've lost so much already. Sometimes I... You don't know if what'll be left was worth the fight. I know. And when I feel that way, I reach for you. Thanks. Whenever you need me. I guess shore leaves over. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No. No matter what happens, you'll find a way to do what's right. For all of us. Serving on a human ship. I never would have guessed. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. Ah. <sighs> We've had a good ride. <laughs> the best. 